Hello and welcome. This is Kara and we are starting the St. Patrick's Day tag series. I'll be making two tags per uh, tag video and I've pulled out some of my things that kind of go with the theme of St. Patrick's Day, the orange and green, some yellow, some stamps, um, the word, the lucky definition, colors from Distress, as well as in this tin, I have some embossing, fabrics, lace, Distress crayons. I've also pulled out some papers. I have this uh, paper pad from a long, long time ago. I'm not even sure where it came from. Some other papers and some Tim Holtz just uh, backgrounds in greens. And I think, was that it? Oh, oh yeah. I also pulled out my little tubs of more vintagey things, retro, that has all sorts of orange goodness. And then also my green tub of random bits. <laughs> so I think we're ready to get started. Here is the stuff for tag one. Looks like this. And I've scored and I've inked. I haven't backed anything yet. Um, but we can do that together really quick. What do we want to pack it with? <laughs> the dog is snoring again. I think that's a perfect fit. This is a Tim Holtz Distress. Yeah, Distress. Why do I keep saying that? It's a Tim Holtz backdrop. That's what I'm trying to say. And let's use some glitter glue. Sorry, it's my desk. I keep bumping my desk. I feel like I'm making lots of noise. <laughs> thank you, thank you to all those who are sticking with me on these tags. It's been really fun. I made a trip to the post office today. Ooh, I need my... I'm making a mess. I need my little board that I've been using for my messes. So yeah, there are tags on there, or not tags, but boxes on their way. So thank you, thank you. And if you're not into the boxes, <laughs> you probably aren't watching this video, but if you are, <laughs> uh, there, keep watching this week because um, later this week there's a fun announcement with a collab that will be starting very very soon and that might be more up your alley than if you're all done with tags or if you want to do both <laughs> so I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have to make a second tray to have my tag tray and then my other tray of goodies There we go. I re-inked my, uh, what is it, the vintage photo, and I'm not used to it being able to be so dark. So I went a little nuts with my inking on this. I think that's all I need the backing on. All right, so get this out of the way. Let's see, what do we want to do? I guess I will glue this on here. And remember to put your flaps on top versus wrapping around so that this tag will fit. Just making sure which way is up. <clears throat> so, um... I don't know if you're in the Facebook group, but oh, I'm doing more gluing and I'm making a mess. Let's use this paper instead. Um, I posted a picture of me working on the tag boxes on the kitchen table. That's where I kind of put everything together. 
And my son has a, uh, what is it? What's it called? Science fair project coming due. It's thankfully not due, due, <laughs> like actually turned in due until April, but his experiment portion should have been done by now. And uh, a couple <laughs> parent fails. <laughs> we didn't order it as early as we should have. And then we're finding it to be very difficult to find all the pieces that we need because of the last couple of years, companies have gone under, so we can't find all the like electronics that he needs and or it's the wrong size or <laughs> it's been it's been fun all right i think i'm gonna put this guy part of him up there and i did pull, pull out some doilies and i think i might put a white one over here with her Yeah. So whenever uh, a delivery happens and then I hear my husband go, darn it, <laughs> I'm like, oh no, <laughs> this isn't good. This is not good. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't think the family's getting an A on this science fair project. <laughs> oh. oh, man. I want it to go how far down? I think just like that, just a little bit. And then I'll turn this off. And then, of course, I was the one who kind of signed off on, on this uh, project. And looking back, I probably should have had my husband take a gander. I mean, I know the basics of electricity and... <laughs> But I didn't look so closely at the details of what the experiment were. Oh, man. Yeah. I was like, how hard could that be? <laughs> well, if you can't find the stuff, it's a little difficult. All right, I think I'm going to do something like that. And then we'll figure out where the flowers go. I'll glue this down. Yeah, there's a whole, I didn't know this, <laughs> there's a whole science fair website and the teacher gave us the website and said, check out which ones you want. And then he picked his top three and then turned that in and then had to get an okay because of the cost of different things <laughs> for the experiment. And... That was the one my son really wanted to do. And I was like, okay, that sounds cool. Thinking, oh, sure. <laughs> They'll have all the materials. I'm sure of it. Never did I think. Because they have these kits, and you just order a kit. Oh, the dog's barking at somebody. <laughs> Probably Amazon. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's not funny. Ugh. <laughs> uh. How many deliveries can you get in one day? Oh my gosh. Um, so anyway, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of where it started. Um, so I passed on the buck to my husband and said, hey, you know more about electronics. Can you order the list of things that Zach needs for his project? And the husband said, sure. And then of course, you know, busy with work or what have you. So that was a couple days. And then he didn't look so much at the details either. <laughs> and so, do I want that there? Because then this could be a tuck spot. Maybe I do. It's kind of fun. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. And then in the kit that he did buy, it said times two for one of the things he needed. Well, he only got one, and that is the thing that's proving to be the problem. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think we are, we're not parents of the year by any means <laughs> with this project. Oh man, we are failing, failing. I'm gonna put Lucky 
it here. Even though it's different greens. And my slime's been pretty good. Go with the flow. So that's kind of nice. He's a pretty go with the flow kiddo, so. I think I want to stitch around and stitch around this. Okay, but we need a little tag for there. And where? Let me go find my other tags. I'll be right back. Alright, I am back. While I went to find a tag, I did some sewing around the edges. This is a little still a bit of a tight fit because I didn't go as close as I should have. And I do have the tags from the kit, but I think a, a craft one with the doily on it would be really cute. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to kind of glue. Put a little catty wampus on here. Tags. There we go. I'm going to add that up here in this corner. Turn that off. Huge. I'm going to save this and hmm, need something. I'm going to go find really quick something. <laughs> right. I found these on Amazon. They're vintage stickers and it has this really cool tin. I'll see if I can link it below. Really fun, kind of like the Tim Holtz ones. Tim Holtz ones, and that's what I have in here. Really cool little items in here. Pulled a couple of those. We'll just kind of do the collage thing. And trim this off. And I have some dark green seam binding that I'm going to use. that here and then this can go in here cute all right tag number one let me get the things for tag number two and I'll be right back okay here we are with the items from tag two I cut out this middle section of the frame and I'm gonna put her in the frame so I'm just gonna glue her on And what I was thinking is I'm going to make this a side pocket and have this slide in on the side 
and then we'll do something with the metal there. All right, so I'm gonna glue. The three sides. Right. And this can pull out, however, I want to have a little tab to make it easier. So I'm going to take uh, with block and put that here, and then I'm going to put the blank one on the other side. Here's my, I'm going to ink this a little bit. I think I'll do with luck first. I mean, sorry, the blank one first. <laughs> and then a little glue here. And then kind of match these up. There we go. Just do a little stitching right there to kind of reinforce it, and then that can kind of hang out. Can you kind of put it up there, huh? All right, so that'll go in there. And then we need something for the middle. So we're gonna just glue and then stick this on to the copy day paper. Fold this back over. I'm going to add the St. Patrick's Day on the bottom. And then this part that I cut out, I'm going to change this into a tag. So let me see. I'm going to take one of these. I'm going to use it as my guide. Trim that side. stickers or something. I'm gonna go find a sticker and I'll be right back. Okay, so I, <laughs> just like everyone I've been seeing on YouTube, um, did a Tamu, Tamu, Tamu haul recently and they have these super cool retro character um, I items in different colors and of course I had to do the rainbow. So I have green and anyway I think I bought, I don't know, a bunch. Of course when I want to show you I can't find them. Um, anyway, there's a bunch. A bunch of colors. And I bought, oh here they are, blue and yellow and green. Anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> I will see if I can link them below. Um, but if not, here is what it looks like if you're interested. And I bought a bunch and I also bought some of this really cool, it's not really washi tape, it's more like that sticker stuff, um, and then you peel it and there's this whole strip and then eventually it repeats. That's kind of fun. And then there's a, you know, different styles, so I had to get multiple styles. But then you can cut out what you want or 
just kind of place it on whatever you're doing. So I was thinking I might take this and kind of add this as a background to my tag. And I'll trim this off. It looks pretty cool. I'm going to cover it a little bit. And look how crazy. I mean, they could be sisters, <laughs> if not the same, same girl. Ah, the bummer part about these is getting the sticker part. Yeah, it is stickers. Hello, sorry, that was a teenager coming in. <laughs> Usually I would have had this done before they were home from school. Okay, so I layered her up, added that, and then some seam binding. We're gonna just put that right there, pretty cute. And I don't know about the butterfly. The other teenager seems to be making lots of noise outside of my room. <laughs> Again, this is why I try and do this when they are not here. Okay, so there we go. There's that one, and there's this one. And don't forget, if you're interested, I have the tag boxes ready to go. There we go. And then these I put in here from the Freebie Friday. If you haven't checked that video out, I will link that at the end in one of those, you know, at the end parts. <laughs> All right. I hope you have a wonderfully crafty day and I'll see you in a few days, a couple days, a day, a couple days. <laughs> four tags, what, three and four. All right, bye-bye.